Hey guys, it's Elizabeth. Um, it's funny. I have been, there's some weird filter on my Kindle, so I don't know what this video is going to look like. If it comes out the way I'm seeing it, I'm going to be in like an old timey filter mode or something. Um, I've been rewatching my videos for the first time ever. I mean, I may have gone back and watched one or two, but I have started at the beginning and been watching. And I realized that for two years I've been starting videos saying, Hey, this is Elizabeth, or this is Elizabeth, finding Elizabeth, <laughs> whatever, I don't know, it's just cracked me up when I heard it repeated over and over and over again. So, um, this is, uh, this is your finding Elizabeth not feeling very well, uh, in bed with, well, on the couch with a cat and having to get up very shortly because I've got so much work to do, but I'm feeling like total crap. Um, but anyway... This is my uh, week 121 uh, post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. Highest weight was 402. I was 360.6 when I had surgery on April 14th, 2014th. Last week I was, I think, 201.6. Today I'm 204.5. And um, I'm not surprised or upset by that because I think... This is one of the things I haven't mentioned in a video. One of the few things I haven't mentioned in a video is that um, I had a client that provided us with health insurance and that gig ended and I haven't gotten, I haven't figured out yet what I need to do to get health insurance now. And so I don't have insurance so my diuretics ran out and I didn't refill the prescription because I don't have another prescription. So I had a feeling my weight was going to go up this week. So it's fine, whatever. I don't even... Honestly, I don't even give a shit. Uh, yeah, I'm in a really good mood. Can you tell? <laughs> oh, my God. Life is hard. I'm, I am, I was going to say, I'm not a fan. I actually am a fan of life, but I'm not a fan of the last couple months, man. Um, I think I am feeling bad because I had my first real literal dumping episode today. I haven't been eating much at all lately. Um, maybe, I don't know, for the past four or five days. And so I think, I think I ate yesterday around two. And I got up this morning and was like starving. So guess what I decided to go do? This is how smart I am. I decided it would be a good idea to go get a donut. Yeah. So I have no food in the house, and that's one of the things I was going to talk about. But So I went to go get a donut. I ate the donut, and I think I, I mean, seriously dumping. Bathroom, nausea, heart racing, I guess, since that's way more sugar than I'm used to eating. And um, I hadn't eaten in a while. That's what I get. So um, I actually did take notes um, this week. Um... Let me talk, stop, the cat is biting my laptop. What the hell? Um, so I started working out again uh, last week with Brandon doing boot camp. It felt really awesome. Um, I have to say it uh, was, um, yeah, it was good. I felt good. Um, I was really sore for a couple days afterwards and I'm sure when I go back tomorrow, I'll be sore for a couple days after again. But that's something that makes me feel good and so uh it's good for me to do it i i don't know i mean i just feel stronger already just having done it twice um and to know that although i can't do everything the way i could when i left i can still do most things so that's good um what else in terms of food okay so so i have pretty much so when i moved to this house you know how usually like you have food in your house that's like you know, canned goods or soup or things that are like have been there forever. Like you bought it for one thing and no, so there's always like, there's never like absolutely nothing to eat in your house. Well, when I moved here, um, I got rid of all that stuff that was like leftover stuff or stuff I'd gotten for my son or whatever. And, um, uh, and I just haven't really been grocery shopping much or I will go and buy like one specific thing that I want to eat and eat that until it's all gone so there has literally been no food in the house which is like interesting when you're a 
sort of um, compulsive nighttime eater, which is certainly not as bad as it used to be, but it's so weird. Because this week, I mean, or last week, there really was literally no food here. Um, I mean, I could have made a protein shake in the middle of the night, but yeah, wasn't that interested in that. Um, but that feeling of waking up in the middle of the night, wanting to nighttime eat, and knowing there is absolutely nothing in this house for you to eat. I don't even know why I'm talking about that, but that's what was happening. And then, all kinds of shit has been going on with everybody I know, <laughs> but I, um, there was some stuff going on my family on Friday, and it's kicked back up today, but so I was, I stopped at the store after I had dealt with that on Friday to pick up a couple of things, and I got some chicken, and I got some macaroni and cheese, and I got a piece of cake. So... I was definitely emotionally eating, but here's the thing that was the good part, I thought. So, I got at the takeout deli macaroni and cheese, like one spoonful in a takeout deli container. I got like one slice of cake to take home, not the whole cake. And, you know, I ate both of those things actually over two days, so it's not the end of the world, but I just thought it was interesting how... Um, even if I'm emotionally eating now, I know enough about myself not to bring... A lot of food into the house because if I have it I'm gonna eat it so yeah anyway I'm making no sense even with notes I just feel like crap today um what else oh here's another thing I re I recognized that was weight loss surgery related was that I'm not obsessed with food anymore I think I touched on this last night on the naked truth but uh, oh shoot if you didn't catch it you should catch it Dre VSG was on and she is just so delightful she is just full of light and she's beautiful and motivating and uh, I can't wait to meet her when she comes to obesity help in about a month or so um but I'm not obsessed with food the way I used to be it used to be that like my whole all day there would be thoughts about what are you gonna eat 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 you know making plans for what the next food was and then I realized like on Saturday that I had gotten up I hadn't thought much about eating and then I got hungry, because I do that, I get hungry, and I was like, oh, okay, let me go get some food, because there was food then, because I got in the store the night before. And um, I ate, um, you know, just a couple bites of chicken, and I was done, and I put it away, and then I don't think about food again until the next time I'm hungry, which, I don't know, that's a relatively new thing for me. Oh, uh, what else? So, uh, I started watching videos again, other people's, and like I said, mine. It's been interesting to, um, to go back and watch my videos, um, from the beginning. I'm at like, I don't know, like week 12 or something, so a couple months post-op. And one of the things that, and I don't want to get too down on myself because it is what it is. I mean, wherever I am at mentally is where I'm at mentally, and I've been here before and I can get out of it. But, um, and I feel like I have been really hard on myself in terms of how I'm feeling, which is not something I can totally control. But I was listening to one video this morning where I talked about how my whole, um, for so many years, I had been surviving and not thriving. And, um, and that at the time of that video, I was saying I wasn't feeling like that anymore. So, um... Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like that right now. I'm just barely surviving and certainly not thriving, just trying to get through the days. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to do the stuff that I need to do to, um, to get back to thriving. I think exercising is part. I need to, I need to go to the grocery store and have a well-balanced diet so I'm not eating donuts. I need to drink my water. I need to, I mean, there's all these things I need to do, but I know what they are, and I know that um, hopefully this will pass, because I feel like I've wasted this whole fucking summer being depressed, which I don't want to do anymore, and I actually, um, I took down all my, actually, I took down most of my videos from the summer um, this morning, because, I don't know, because, um, Partially because I probably overshared, um, and partially because I just want to, um, I just want to move on from that, and as kind as people are, 
if they watch it later and start coming on commenting on them, it's gonna probably put me back in not a great place. So, anyway, operation move on. <laughs> Let's not waste the last month of summer. Um, there are a lot of people in this community who have shitty stuff going on right now, and um, I just want to send love and light to all of them. I know that we will all get through this. I um, posted on Facebook yesterday my uh, 2015 recap video. There was like a photo music video, and um, I watched it yesterday, and it's like all these people in the community um, who I've gotten to meet and love, and looking at those pictures when those pictures were taken and all the things that I know have happened in all of our lives since then, both for, you know, both the good and the bad. And, um, yeah, I mean, we're survivors. To, to be super, to be obese, morbidly obese, super morbidly obese in this world, you have to be a survivor. And so not only did we live through that, but now... changing my name from Finding Elizabeth to Crying Elizabeth. Uh, but so, not only did we survive that, but we survived um, or in, and are in the process of, of surviving making the change to that. I mean, actually changing the one thing that I know, at least for me, I thought was unchangeable that would never happen. I would never um, be sitting here feeling as good in my body as I do. Um, one of the videos that I watched uh, was talking about, like my NSV was that I didn't have cankles anymore. And it's not that I'd forgotten that I had cankles, but I had forgotten, like, I mean, my, I had such swelling. I mean, my legs were so huge. And now all the time I like look at my legs and there's an ankle and you know, there, <laughs> my legs look really good. And, I never thought that would happen. Okay, so if all of these things can happen, if we can survive all this stuff, and if we can survive sort of, I don't know if it's like unbecoming who we were or becoming someone new, we can pretty much do anything. And I believe that about all of us, myself included. So, yeah. Um, just much love to everybody out there who's struggling, you know. You know who you are, and you know that I love you. And um, let's see what next week brings. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.